What if I told you that you did not need to strengthen your core, engage your core, stabilize your core, and in fact, there is no separate core in the body? I'm Yasmin Lambat. I am the founder of Soma Sensing, which is a somatic way of connecting you to the nature of your design through the lens of fascia and biotensegrity. Biotensegrity is a term used to describe the nature of our structure. It's a term that is uh, coined by the orthopedic surgeon Stephen Levin. I will leave a link to his website so you can learn more about Stephen's work. And then fascia, there's lots about fascia now. Uh, but my journey with recognizing that we don't actually need to cue the core was during my training with Polestar Pilates in the UK. And this was 15 years ago, right? 15 years ago, I stopped cueing the core. And I really wanted to create this video to say, hey, stop cueing the core. We don't need to, to do that. And in fact, you don't need to breathe out and breathe in and stabilize your body at all. So I began to experience how our body is integrated through somatic movement. So I had a wonderful mentor by the name of Elizabeth Bussey. And just when I was starting to learn all the muscles of the trunk and the transversus abdominis, this kind of you know, girdle of our body and all these individual muscles that co-stabilize that in our body to give us stability. Just as I was kind of really getting my head around that, along comes this new approach to anatomy, fascial anatomy. And one of the pioneers in those days uh, for movement professionals was Thomas Myers. Thomas Myers anatomy trains was where it all began. And it has changed since then. At that time, we looked at myofascial connections and lines and now we realize there are no connections in the body everything is integrated and that our body is one continuous fabric um, that shapes everything so I just want to share with you where it all began and you could try this as well so you don't need to engage breathe in breathe out none of that so my mentor guided me to rest on the ground and just to notice and one of the somatic practices was to notice what happens when you press your right foot into the ground and then let go. And ever so gentle, just pressure on the ground, doesn't have to be big, and then to let go. And as I'm press, you know, as I as I stand in my foot into the ground, what else in the body responds? So that's what we were guided to. And this idea that we have a core. The whole purpose of the practice was to recognize that when you stand into the ground, this, these pelvic floor muscles, as we, as we were guided to explore, um, have a response, right? So, by the way, muscles are not separate to fascia, but I'm just mentioning pelvic floor muscles here. So if I press my foot into the ground, I can feel a sensation in my pelvis. but then. Where else can you feel the sensation? Not only in your pelvis, it goes all the way through your body, right? So that tells you how everything is connected. And then she gave us this other movement, which is so cool. I love this. And I still guide it 15 years later, thanks to uh, Elizabeth Bassi of Polestar. So the next one she guided us to re recognize how everything is integrated at the at the time she used the word connected because we thought it's there's a connection but there are no connections in the body it's all just one and one of them was this motion of just moving the feet back and forth and when you move the feet back and forth there's a whole body response right there's a whole body response you can bend the knees and you, you get this whole body response Okay, so that was that was one of the movements. I mean, we did a lot in Pilates with what we call tabletop and engage the core and breathe in, breathe out and co-contract. None of that, right? None of that. 
So, ooh, fast forward years later, and these other sensations begin to arise from this wisdom of the body of, hey, when you press into the ground or you send the floor away, there's a whole body response. So if I'm here, I don't need to engage my core. The, the sensation when you have your, your hand on the ground and just imagine like, you know, children that move, babies who move and want to send the ground away to come up into standing. If you sense how there's a whole body response, so if I send the floor away, oh, everything moves. And not just that, guess what? The body takes a breath in, not a breath out, right? When you send the ground away, oh, your body takes a breath in. Oh, and then a sigh as you come back down. The natural way for your body to self-stabilize is to take a breath in. Everything expands and gives you this inner stability. So co-contracting the core does not give you inner stability. So the same thing, just sending the floor away. If, if I send the floor away, Oh, my body takes a breath in. Okay. And what about things like the plank that we learned, you know, side plank and so on, and staying there for a, for a long time for core strength? Not necessary. So, um, oh, one of the transitions that we made, that I made from, from uh, Pilates to natural movement. So, in Pilates, we have, we have this motion of this. The side, the side plank, if you like, this motion here, which you would see in yoga as well. And the way we would guide it before was to, um, you know, be at the ready. So we'd be here and we would uh, align or organize. What, what, I, what I did love about pole star Pilates is how they talked about organizing the body. So that was really good. There was an organization of the body. And Elizabeth Bussey taught that really well. So spiral motion to organize the body and then to, uh, so, no, actually, no, sorry. In start, it was organize or align, breathe in, breathe out, and breathe out and come up, right? Oh, my gosh. So much effort. So much effort when you go against nature's design. Fascia and biotensegrity in particular, especially biotensegrity, helps us to recognize how forces are distributed throughout the structure in a really efficient way. So one of the, one of the uh, wonderful um, movements that I first learned in an integrated way was this one. And once again, taught by my wonderful mentor, Elizabeth Bussey, I, I really have to um, give her credit for starting me on this journey. And this is where we started, look, in a spiral motion. Okay, and you either find the floor with your foot or you could you could go up this way. And then as you open up, the body takes a breath in and you could continue. You could be here. Spiraling on that in breath of spontaneous stability, there's a spontaneous stability. Doesn't require any effort. It doesn't require effort. And then softening as you come back down. So there's when the body expands and the force is distributed throughout, it's efficient, it's less effortful. And oh my gosh, the plank became so simple. You could just pause here and you don't have to stay here. There's no need to stay here. You can, you can expand. So when I send the ground away, the body takes a spontaneous breath in. There's no need to be straining your body here in a plank at all, right? There's no need. You can um, simply follow the urge from your body to move. So if I'm here and I'm rocking from side to side and I'm just coaxing and pulsing, like you'll see in some other video practices on this channel, and when I want to swap sides, I can send the floor away. 
Ooh, the body takes a spontaneous breath in. So breath in. Ah, oh, and then there's a sigh. It's that breath in that brings about spontaneous stability. So I began that journey of learning about fascia and not cueing the breath uh, in, a, in a prescribed way, but noticing how the body takes a spontaneous breath in when we want to move and self-stabilize. So that's where I am at now. And if I do mention the core of the body, it's a sensation of our innerness. So there is an inner sensation of the body. And when I want to bring you to quiet or to rest or to inner ease, I will take you to your inner core. But it's not separate and it's a sensation rather than a separation. So I hope you will be inspired and curious about connecting with your body wisdom.